My name is Amar Jyot Singh and I uh, routinely get inquiries about spouse visa from India, especially from uh, couples who are uh, from different background, intercaste and interreligious marriages. And uh, I always tell them you can get married in the court under the Special Marriage Act. Uh, it used to be a problem that they were, uh, uh, you know, trying to hide this information from their parents and the society and the general public. So one of the provision, which used to be that 30 days notice uh, given to the parents and it was advertised in the court somewhere, uh, that was always a problem. So now there's a case, I just read a case uh, on January 13th, Allahabad High Court says 30 days notice under the Special Marriage Act. While it's privacy, it makes it optional. This is a very interesting case and I think it will help a lot of people who are trying to keep it uh, private. So let's take a dive in uh, to the case and let's, uh, let's find out what happened. This is in, uh, in uh, somewhere in UP actually. And uh, if you know what is love jihad, uh, people were trying to uh, you know, marry and they're trying to escape uh, scrutiny. So under one of the provisions, they were forced to advertise, which was not something they wanted. So the judge says, no, it's not needed. So let's take a look uh, what, what is happening here. Uh, to, 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 to here, I'm just going to read some few lines here. Justice Victor Adi said they're making an application of mandatory invade, invades, sorry, invades the fundamental rights of liberty and privacy, including within the sphere freedom to choose a marriage without interference from state and non-state actors. Uh, that's good. Uh, uh, the further the court in this order says the parties intended to marry can send a written request to the marriage officer whether to publish or not publish the 30-day notice. It says adding. Uh, you know, saying this, the couple does not wish to get a notice published, the marriage officer will not publish any notice or entertain any objection, but instead proceed with the solemnization of the marriage. So that's a good, uh, that's a good precedent. Uh, people who are interested to, uh, to marry and if they have, they're looking to go to Canada because they need a marriage certificate. And if you're facing some kind of problem like this, I think you should talk to your lawyer about this case and use this case as a precedent to, uh, to insist in your own local jurisdiction that a 30 day uh, notice and public notice is not mandatory anymore. So this is something that you can take a look. It's on Indian Express uh, on January 13th website. Uh, you know, you can read through it and I think it will help a lot of people. Uh, I will I'll try to say this in Hindi. Sometimes people say, oh, you Hindi, mein bole, aap, you know, whatever. So if you are married and you inter-religion marriage, you have inter-caste marriage, then you have 30 days ka notice dene ki ਜਿਹੜੇ Google the Chalijao type on uh, January 13 Allahabad High Court uh, Special Marriage Act. They is some article article. So thank you very much. I always I am interested in marriage cases and uh, special uh, spousal cases like common law, conjugal partner, rejected cases. Uh, marriage cases and spouse cases is one of my the favorite uh, application volume in my business. So I am always looking to help people who are facing those problems. Say so thank you very much and. Uh, I hope to see you soon and uh, look, looking at your case. Bye-bye.